what's up everybody and welcome we are doing a uh, isolation today so we have 10 grams of buttered rosin which we extracted from an earlier video right this is from a uh, hash extraction that we did and it was 10 grams of it that was uh, shaped about the size of one of our three and a half gram bags let sit out so that it, it uh, evaporates all the moisture out of it and gets any any uh, shatter like look out of it and it's more of a buttered substance so it looks more like a white chocolate or a milk real milk chocolate type of we do that first and then what we do is we wrap it and we we have in mind our sizing you know so i thought we would put this in a 14 gram we would wrap it in a a, a 15 uh, micron six inch screen and then we would put it in the this is to hold really hold the shape we would put it in a 14 gram bag so it'd go like this and then fold over and then hopefully we can then get that in a three and a half gram bag at the end to hold it all together and what we'll do is we'll form that nice brick of isolate on the iq we'll show you how to do that how easy it is um, and guys if you haven't haven't stopped over at nugsmasher.com check out our new website uh, the guys have been working real hard on it um, give us some feedback let us know what you think um, remember everything's built by us in-house so we do um, we're experts in building machines not but not uh, well websites too so let us know what you think and give us your thoughts and feedback and uh, and uh, stop over at nugsmasher.com, check it out. All right, back to the isolation. Um, so with all that said, I'm just gonna get started. You can see this 10 grams of isolate. Let's take it over the scale and make sure it actually is 10 grams. Just shy of 10 grams there, 9.88 grams. And that's probably this right here. And a little evaporation, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is get this uh, 15 micron screen, uh, six inch screen. We're gonna stick this in the center of it. Let's see if this overlaps too much. It's a little too much. We're gonna trim some off this. Just one side. You want it to be about three times the. Size of the product each direction. Or less. Three times or less. Alright, so now we're going to stick this right in the middle. to be real tight on the screen. So I try to overlap it real, real tight. Right to the edge. And you can see what I mean by three times. And once I get to here, we'll try to crease this as best we can with our finger. That'll help us on our next step. challenge is going to be the three and a half gram bag to just hold it all together. See, what you don't want to do is just put it in this bag and this bag come unraveled. You need something to hold this bad boy together. I'm only going to make it overlap uh, once. So there's that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a 120 micron three and a half gram bag. And this 14 gram bag that I used was a 37 micron, by the way, guys. Let's see if there's any possible way this is gonna work here. We're gonna make it work. So I'm just 
just pushing in a little on my material so I can get it in the bag. I think what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to put this in the fridge and get this uh, cool again. It's wrapped up like this and I won't degrade my material while I'm, while I'm putting it in the three and a half gram bag. <clears throat> okay guys, I'm back. I took it out of the fridge. Um, it's been about five minutes or so. I pried on the bag a little bit. It made it way easier. Look at that. Sometimes you just gotta take a time out. Had a dab, you know what I mean? Can I say dab on YouTube? <laughs> Can't say much on YouTube anymore, you guys. Okay, so now we have our, our uh, you can see the rosin through this. It's only one layer, or uh, one layer of the, the 20, uh, 15 micron screen, one layer of the 37, one layer of the 120. You can see it through it. On this side is more white. This is where the folds went. So that's going to be up. That's how I'm doing the, the uh, isolation like this. And uh, let's see what happens. So we got to get a measurement, guys, on the actual uh, surface area because that's going to be keyed. We program that in. So we'll take a measurement here. You can do this with a ruler or anything, but one and three quarters. That's close enough there. Bye. All right, let's call it uh, three inches. So what we need to do is program that surface area into the IQ. We're gonna go over here to the master extractor screen. Um, we're gonna go down here to a custom size. It already has three in one, so I'm just gonna pick the opposite, 1.75. Oops. Okay. Um, so I programmed the custom size in, that's a cubic uh, uh, square inch of the material. And from this point, I'm gonna go over to the ramp mode screen, which is right here, the little ramp. And then I'm just gonna hit the standard isolate um, settings. So it goes over 25 minutes. It starts the pressure at 100, it just ends it slightly higher at 120 on the calculated surface area that we programmed in there on the on the other screen the temperature starts at 100 and it goes up to 155 um, and this should give us a uh, pretty good in the 80 percent pure thc uh, a ice uh, 80 high 80s thca isolate now if we want a cleaner isolate we can take the brick back out at the end we'll show you and we can <clears throat> run it back through um, the same process and do it for another 25 minutes and you'll you'll get up into the 90s so you can repeat it three or four times if you want so uh, get up really close but it degrades each time you're gonna get a little less so anyhow um, let's get started all we got to do to get started is throw a piece of parchment in there throw the material in there right to the back there and that's really all there is to it guys it will uh Go to this and it'll show you the material PSI um, reaching, climbing up to its its uh, peak here at 100, and then it starts the timer. Um, and you can see how different the hydraulic fluid pressure is depending on what t uh, size your surface area is. So um, crucial. So the timer cl clicks down and we just hang around and wait, and it'll make us some nice isolate. Stay tuned. Oh, guys, good time to uh, get over that bell and slap it and um, like, subscribe, will you?
Okay, guys, we're back. Um, it's been about an hour. I, I had some other stuff to do, so um, the machine released here. Let's see what we're left with. Bring it over here. So you can see the oils, have, it's basically squeezed all the oils out and should have left us with a brick of uh, THCA. What we're gonna do is let this cool down for just a minute and we'll pull it out, see what we got. But now um, I recommend before we pull it out that we stick it in a small piece of parchment, stick it in the fridge, let it cool down. It'll brick up now, you'll see. Stay with me, stay tuned. Most of the oil will be caught in the screens. Like I said, we can do this again and again to super refine it. Really the IQ does all the work. That's a 14 gram, 37 micron bag. That caught a lot of it. This caught most of it. So you can see most of the oil's caught there, what isn't on the, uh, what isn't on this. And that's all the, the uh, terpenes and, and oils and fats. And then this, we can refine it further, which I think I'm gonna do at this point. I think I'm actually gonna stick it back in another and redo this whole process just so it's nice and clear. So I'm gonna take it and wrap it in another 15 micron screen here. Put it right in the center. And I caught caught up there. If I had to pull it off the plates, it would have had a lot less oil on it. it just sat there under the heat and the oil kind of ran back into the surface of the dry THCA. So. That was my bad on you, on you guys, but sometimes you get caught up. Can't take it right off the plates. Sorry? Oh yeah, please.
I'm gonna grab another 37 micron uh, 14 gram bag and stick this in again. So that I can hold it from unfolding. And it'll help absorb any oil that's in there. I keep all the folds up. Doing that so when my machine's cool enough, um, I can start and uh, and uh, yeah, see it was 150 degrees in there, it was just hot, and the oil was going back into the product. Yeah. I should have pulled it off as soon as it released. I got busy out there. Okay, well I should have too. So. Okay, guys, we're back. We're gonna take our puck here, and we're just gonna slide it in right in the center, just like we did before. This will give us a nice clean product, THCA, so it'll be a good isolate when we're done here. Um, we're just, same thing, our, our ramp mode's already set, um, or our surface area's already set. We're gonna go over here to isolate, do the exact same thing. Hit start, proceed. Okay guys, we're back. We just pulled this out, round two here. You can see how much drier it is because that's just soaking up all the extra oils that was inside of it. Purifying it, so it's just pure THCA. I just use a scissor to cut it off. It's much easier. And you don't damage your, your isolate block. Okay, there you have it guys. We've got a nice hunk of isolate here. Let's go over to the scale and see what this bad boy weighs. So we got about 62% back out of the uh, rosin that we put in, which was pretty righteous rosin. So we refined the oils, fats, and lipids out of it to get just a hunk of uh, THCA. And this is probably 91, 92%, I'd imagine, if we run it through the test machine. Um, and you could do it again and make it even more pure, but this is a nice hunk of isolate. I'm gonna stick it in some parchment and in the fridge there. Um, let it air for uh, for 24 hours and we should have some excellent excellent product So guys hope you enjoyed um, seeing how easy ISO it is to make on the IQ You can also do that on the XP and, and the other machines uh, Once you get the real feel for how to do it the key is solid pressure steady pressure over an extended period of time raising the heat getting all the oils out and what remains is the THCA molecule will remain and it'll, it'll at, uh, attach to each other and you'll have that solid hunk like we have now of isolate. If you never tried it, it's super, super stony once you activate it, turn it into a THC molecule. So it's a, it's a great product. It's great for people that don't want a psycho effect either, but need all the, the properties of a full THCA um, molecule. So um, that's out there for the, those of you that need that medically, you have that. 
Hope you guys have enjoyed uh, today's episode on the IQ, uh, isolating. Please like, subscribe, tell a friend, hit that bell on the, uh, on, the, on the YouTube there. It helps us so much. It'll notify you when we're doing a new video and also when we do a live video. So please do that for us. We appreciate everybody so much. And check out nugsmasher.com. We've got a new website over there. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's much more simple, uh, easy, more intuitive to use. So the guys have been working hard on that um, in the back, our computer team. So go check that out. Take care, guys. Till next time.